What's up, guys? Frank Daniels here. Today I'm talking fat loss, and I'm going to dispel a huge myth in your mind about how you should be losing fat, how quickly you should be losing fat, and exactly what you need to do to create a permanent result in your physical transformation. Before I go into that, I've got a free report. It's called Seven Steps to Shredded. For you guys out there who are interested in getting lean, jacked, and ripped, you're going to bring your ass right down below. Click the first link in the description. At the end of this video, you'll see it pop up around here where you can click that button and download the free report. Let's talk fat loss. And the big common misconception with losing body fat and losing weight is that we need to make it happen like yesterday, right? Most of the time when people think about losing body fat, it's because they got something coming up that they're like shit scared that all of a sudden they got to take their shirt off, okay, and be in front of people, be viewed, be visible with your body, and it's usually too late for a more lasting and more permanent result. So this idea, okay, in just fitness culture in general that we're going to use extreme measures to be able to lose body fat and lose weight right now, okay, the next two weeks, the next four weeks is harming people more than it will actually help you do this over the long haul. And I'm going to explain exactly why. What happens when you're trying to lose body fat, or here's what you want to do. Let me just say this, okay? When you're losing body fat, when you're losing weight, okay? They don't always go together, but most of the time they go together. When you're going through this process and you want to create a permanent result, the absolute best way that you're going to do that is to stretch out that fat loss process as far and as long as possible. So to be able to do it slowly. Not very sexy, is it? Okay, certainly not. But if you want to create a permanent result, this is exactly the way you should be viewing this process, okay? To lose body fat slowly over the course of time to be able to retain those results over the long haul, right? And the reason that you want to do this is because using extreme measures to lose weight, okay? Extreme exercise programs, extreme diets, crash diets where you're cutting calories very quickly. The more fast you do that, the quicker you're going to run into a roadblock. Okay, The quicker you're going to hit a plateau. So your body bounces back against you. So the reason that you want to stretch these things out longer is because usually if you're losing body fat, you're talking about losing weight, you're talking about reducing calories. right? So it's this... Calories in, calories out balance. So this is how much I burn through exercise. This is how much I eat in food. And I need to bring this number just a little bit so I can burn more, okay, as opposed to what I eat, right? Cool. So the last thing you want to do is create this big deficit right away because say I cut out 500, you know, 800, 1,000 calories out of my diet, okay, and then I, I get a result. I lose a whole bunch of weight fast. The only thing to do from there, get my hands out of my face, sorry. Okay, the only thing to do from there is to now cut more calories out. And that's an issue. So it's a surefire way to run into, you know, basically extreme dieting or extreme cutting faster. And that's not to say that during your process of burning body fat, you're not going to be in situations where you're going to be hungry. You certainly are. Okay, but the longer you can stretch that out, the farther you can take advantage of the little incremental adjustments that you might make to exercise and to nutrition and let those things take effect okay, without having to do any extreme stuff, the better off you're going to be. So let's say, for example, I don't work out at all okay, and I just start an exercise program. I'm thinking about exercise. I'm thinking about now i got to change my nutrition and drink all this water and start meal prepping and all this stuff. Well... If I'm roughly here, okay, it's not always how it works, but my calorie balance is here. If I start exercising, okay, and I start thinking about cutting calories at the same time, watch what happens. If I just start an exercise program or I change the intensity of my exercise program, I'm going to burn more. Okay, so that in itself is going to create the calorie deficit that I might need to lose body fat or lose weight. Right? So you have to pay attention to these details. Right, If I make a little adjustment here in exercise or activity level, I'm going to create more of a deficit. So I want to milk that deficit okay, and see what type of results I get from it. Okay? Is my body changing? Am I, getting, um, you know, am I getting tighter? Am I getting more firm? Am I losing body fat? Am I losing a little bit of weight? Man, if I can, if I can milk that as long as possible, I want to. Because the last thing I want to do is cut calories right now. 
Okay, I want to cut calories as the last extreme measure, right? So if you go see someone that's going to help you get ready for like a bodybuilding show or a figure um, competition, right? They might look at you and you might say, hey, I had this competition and it's, you know, six months from now. And they might look at you and decide that you've got more body fat to lose than they really want to cut you in that six months, right? So they're going to say, you, they might tell you, you're not ready for that, okay? We're going to bump you out to the nine-month mark. So their goal is to stretch out this process as long as possible because when it comes to losing fat, again, at some point, you're going to be really, really hungry, okay? If you really want to get to, like, elite body fat levels, right? Like low body fat, you're going to be really hungry. So the longer you can push off that process of having to cut calories, okay, and take more extreme measures to be able to lose that last bit of fat, the better off you're going to be. Big point here, guys, is when you make incremental adjustments to your exercise, more intensity, I burn more. I milk that as long as possible. Okay, if I make an adjustment to my nutrition, Okay, and I bring it down a little bit or I change the way my macros are constructed within the amount of calories that I eat, I want to, if I'm getting a result, I'm going to milk that result for as long as possible. I'm not going to continue to just cut calories out. At some point you will. Okay, at some point you're going to be very hungry. But if you can avoid that up front, especially if you're not used to this process, um, you're not used to being hungry, you're going to be much better off because you stretch the entire process out as long as possible. Any extreme change in calories burned, okay, or calories consumed is going to run you into a wall more quickly, okay, and force you to have to make a more extreme change right off the bat. And this is why you want to stretch out this process because the, the less that you do that, okay, the more gradual that change is going to be for you, the more sustainable it's going to be for your body over the course of time. What usually happens, again, people do extreme stuff. Okay, it's, you know, the bounce back is extreme. Your body's going to fight against that as much as possible. And then when you're pissed off because you're starving right away, okay, you didn't gradually go into that, um, you know, the bounce back or the rebound effect based off, you know, just splurging, okay, it's not going to be healthy either. So here's the thing, guys. If you want to lose body fat and you want to keep it, okay, you want to transform your body and change it, the best way for you to do it is slowly and gradually and try to milk the changes that you make okay, to your exercise intensity and your adjustments in nutrition as long as possible. All right? So don't think short term. Think long term if you want to keep these things okay, for the rest of your life and not just for a couple weeks or a couple months. I hope that makes sense. I hope this video helped you out, guys. If it really did, head down below. Like, leave me a comment. Tell me exactly what you want to see next. Of course, Subscribe to this channel, man. If you want seven steps to shredded, I highly recommend you download that report. I talk about strategies like these, okay, for getting lean and getting jacked. Head down below, click the first link, click this button right here. I'm Frank Daniels, guys. Catch up soon.